Hello, I'm Emily and today I'm going to be showing you the first stages of my oil painting. Uh, as you can see at the moment, it's just a blank canvas. So we're going to be starting with an underpainting. Uh, I'm going to do this in oils. Um, it's going to be a horse's head. I'm not sure if you can see it on the iPad, um, but I can put a, I'll put a picture of the reference photo up. And um, let's get started. So as you can see, I'm talking to the camera a bit in the video. Um, that's because I did a longer video, um, which is on my Patreon, where I kind of talk a lot more and go through what we're, what I'm doing, kind of um, quite a bit more detail. Um, I managed to keep it down to kind of 45 minutes, um, but I wanted to just create like a really quick video to, to put up on YouTube, um, just so people can get their kind of general gist of what's going on and hopefully you can kind of create some um, beautiful artwork from this. Um, as you can see, I gridded up first and I'm using the, I used the app, the Jackson's Art Grid app to create the image there with the grid lines on. Um, and it's quite good because you can use the, uh, you can type in your canvas size and then it works out the actual measurements for laying out your grid work. So that's um, really helpful. I'm going to try not to talk too much, but if I um, think of something, then I'll just quickly add it in. So as you can see, just square by square, I'm going through and just trying to um, copy each square individually onto the canvas and it breaks it down for you, um, makes it easier and you don't get kind of lost um, and your proportions don't get lost using um, a gridding method. So this is quite good. Uh, this reference photo, um, I just have to add, uh, I'm sure everyone will agree that it's a beautiful photo of a horse. Um, it's by a lady called Karen Bromelsick and she um, very kindly puts them up on her Facebook page for artists to use. So it's, it's called Artist Reference Photos by Karen. Um, and there's lots of animals, lots of horses um, and everyone shares their artwork on her page so that's really uh, lovely. So if you want this image or any others, they're, they're all on there. So at this stage, um, I've kind of blocked in the colour with the paintbrush and now I'm getting a rag and just blending it all, smoothing it out, knocking. You can use the rag with a bit of um, your uh, diluting medium to remove the colour, so take it back to white um, and you can just kind of blend and soften um, all the lines that you've created. Um, so I quite like this stage. So you can see I'm, I'm filling in the background a bit more now. And don't forget to use that, it's, it's called the negative space. So if you're looking at one of your squares and you're looking at the section of the horse's nose, say, that's in that square, don't forget to have a look at the other half as well, so the black section, that's the negative space. Um, and it's another way of, of looking at it to see, oh, is the negative space correct in that square? So, um, so yeah, that's quite a helpful little tool. And as you can see at this stage, um, my lines are almost all gone. Um, so I'm kind of just getting all the kind of tones how I want them. Um, but you just have to be a bit more alert at this stage 
that you, once your lines are gone, that you don't start uh, changing sizes of different areas. Um, but I'm, I'm not too worried um, because I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be doing kind of the second stage of the underpainting, um, correcting kind of, I'll go through and just check every, every square and check, I'll put the lines back on and I'll, I'll go through and check everything again. So I never, I never trust myself, always be alert and always be looking for errors. But generally just kind of get the basics in at this stage and then we can correct anything once it's dry. Um, I'm using liquid, which is really good, so it should just, it'll be dry within kind of two days. So um, I don't tend to paint on it the next day, um, but you know, the day after that should be all right. And we can start correcting things. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as I said, I've got a Patreon. Um, I will be uploading probably another quick video um, of the next stage of my underpainting, and then um, and I'll, I'll try and keep you up to date with how this painting progresses. If not, um, I've, I've already put another video up on my uh, Instagram. Um, so if you just kind of follow me, you should see how it goes. And it is it is getting really um, the. the at this stage it looks quite um, plain, it doesn't really look like anything special but you're just getting the lines in and um, the next stage of the underpainting is really good. Um, I, you know, I kind of I start using some white paint and it, it does look good after the next stage so, um, so yeah keep an eye out for that and have a look at my other videos and check out my Patreon. Thanks, bye!